members of the MBA and doctoral classes of 2021, alumni achievement award recipients, families, friends and loved ones, faculty and staff of Harvard Business School, welcome. I know you are joining us today from near and far. So while here in Boston, it is early afternoon, for some of you, it may be morning, evening, or night. Even though we are dispersed across many different time zones, we are nonetheless united and come together as a community to mark what is truly a joyous time. A moment when we celebrate the academic accomplishments of you, our graduating students, and share in your excitement as you embark on new pathways and begin new careers. And it is also a moment when we honor a handful of distinguished Harvard Business School alumni who are in every way role models for how you might lead your lives. Let me start then with our Alumni Achievement Awards. I am delighted to present the six remarkable women and men who through their actions and their behaviors and in their careers and in their communities are exceptionally worthy recipients of this, the school's highest honor. Ray Dalio, would you please join me on screen? Ray is the founder, co-chairman, and co-CIO of Bridgewater Associates, one of the world's largest hedge funds. He is also a thoughtful and generous philanthropist. Ray Dalio, MBA, 1973. Bridge builder, you've channeled your unique perspective into principles that guide your life, while also providing meaning and inspiration to millions of others. Mindfulness maverick, you march to your own tune, balancing your humble beginnings as a son of jazz and queens with extraordinary success. Brilliant financier, you lead an exemplary life that is founded on a commitment to family, evolution, appreciation, introspection, and generosity. Ray, today we honor you and celebrate your incredible leadership as an entrepreneur and a philanthropist. Next, I would like to invite Ido Jamar to join me on screen. Ido is accepting the award posthumously for her father, Naylor Fitzhugh. Naila was one of the first black graduates of Harvard Business School who served as a mentor to hundreds of business leaders. After teaching at Howard University for 30 years, Naila pioneered targeted marketing at Pepsi. H. Naila Fitzhugh, MBA, 1933. Gifted groundbreaker, you brought genius, generosity, and grace to every encounter. Barred from dorm rooms and boardrooms, you steadfastly showed those who did not accept you that the loss was entirely theirs. With intelligence and compassion, you motivated everyone around you to 
believe in themselves, to reach higher, to follow your example, and to make a difference in the world. Your legacy lives on at Harvard Business School and reverberates at Howard, at Pepsi, and in society at large. You serve as an inspiring reminder to persevere even when the odds are against you, to not sit down until all voices are heard, and to bravely stand up for justice. Ido Jamar, today we honor and celebrate your father's remarkable legacy. Now, if Mazuo Unwaneli would join me on screen. Mezuo is a managing partner at Sahel Capital Agribusiness Managers, where he focuses on transforming agriculture in Nigeria and across Africa. Mezuo O. Unwaneli, MBA, 2003. Lagos leader with diligence and determination and devotion. You bring finesse to finance as you distribute food and fortitude throughout Africa. When caught in the crossfire, you took time to consider how to ensure that your next steps led you down the right path. With entrepreneurial know-how and expert execution, you serve up passion, compassion, faith, and solutions to your community, country, and continent. Mizuo, today we honor and celebrate the enormous impact you have had in Nigeria and across Africa. And now, Ndidi Unwaneli, please join me on screen. Ndidi, who is married to Mizuo, is a social entrepreneur who works to combat malnutrition and serves as managing partner at Sahel Consulting Agriculture and Nutrition in Lagos, Nigeria. Ndidi Okonko Unwaneli, MBA 1999. Spirited entrepreneur, social enterprise enthusiast, you are a force for good. Nurturing nutrition and advancing agriculture in Africa and beyond. Leading by example, you embolden people everywhere to set their sights higher and leap beyond their aspirations to reach deeper and more meaningful levels of success. Consummate Christian, your faith guides you and inspires others as you spread your own brand of hope, healing, and humility throughout the world. Indeed, today we honor and celebrate your extraordinary leadership as an advocate for others. Now, if I might ask Terry Wirtz to join me on screen, Terry is a retired NASA astronaut who piloted the Space Shuttle Endeavour and then served as commander of the International Space Station. He's also an author, filmmaker, and entrepreneur. Terry Wirtz, GMP 11, 2011. Authentic astronaut in every endeavor you reach for the stars while remaining down to earth. You foster cooperation and collaboration for earthlings everywhere. Energetic and enthusiastic, you are a compassionate commander, a proud patriot, and a resilient role model. Teacher, speaker, father, pilot, storyteller, you boldly break barriers 
bringing passion and perseverance to every role that you play. Terry, today we honor and celebrate your astonishing ability to lead and inspire others. Finally, I'd like to invite Deborah Winchell to join me on screen. Deborah has led social impact efforts at BlackRock. She is the former president and chief operating officer of the Robin Hood Foundation and previously served as chief financial officer of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Deborah Winchell, MBA, 1985. Cross-sector collaborator, you bring people together igniting innovation and invention. As you promote art, financial literacy, social programs and education, all in service to society. Bringing metrics to the Met, elevating efficacy at Robin Hood and promoting social outcomes at BlackRock, you have made an indelible impact you humbly seize opportunities to share your talents as you encourage others to share theirs and model strength and devotion and perseverance to your colleagues, collaborators, and children. In everything you do, you showcase the transformative power of leadership. Deborah, today we honor and celebrate your exemplary and compassionate leadership. Please join me in a round of applause for Harvard Business School's 2021 Alumni Achievement Award recipients. Thank you and congratulations. Before addressing our graduating class, I want to acknowledge Neela and Ram Atluri, the parents of Anisha Atluri, who is not with us today. Anisha was someone who, in her time at Harvard Business School, managed to touch the hearts of many. And the outpouring of grief at her death is a testament to how enthusiastically she approached life and everyone she encountered. I never met Anisha. And yet, through conversations I have had with Neela and Ram, with her faculty and with her friends, I somehow feel that I know her very well. As my colleague Joshua Koval so beautifully put it, she brought out the best in those around her and then taught those individuals how to do the same. And in this way, how to make a difference in the world. We miss her deeply, but we'll always remember how she moved us to summon the better angels of our nature. Anisha will always be a part of our community, as will Neela and Ram. And we've prepared a special certificate to commemorate this fact. Neela and Ram, I ask you to open the package we sent you now and to follow along as I read. Beloved Beloved daughter, fast friend, and section effer, you captivated us all with your energy, intellect, passion, and spirit. In leading life to the fullest, you inspired everyone who met you to be their better selves and the change they want to see. We are so grateful you showed us what it means to be fearless 
yet kind, ambitious yet humble, and authentic in everything you do. Anisha, Neela, and Ram, you are forever a part of Harvard Business School and always in our hearts. We honor Anisha's memory today with a brief moment of silence. Thank you, Neela and Ram. We look forward to welcome you, welcoming you back to campus in future years to meet the Anisha Atluri Fellowship recipients. I also want to acknowledge today Tiago Florido, a doctoral student in the Business Economics Program who passed away in 2019. The MA in Economics Tiago received posthumously at that time will be honored today in the doctoral program ceremony as his classmates and friends receive their PhDs. Tiago was truly beloved by those who knew him. Anisha and Tiago would have wanted today to be joyous. So let us now turn to our graduates with genuine gladness. Harvard Business School class of 2021, you will always have a special place in my heart as the first class to graduate during my time as dean. And you are a special class for other reasons too. For one, hardship has a way of deepening the relationships you form. Even as COVID kept us physically apart, it brought us emotionally closer. You have faced challenges, losses, and obstacles together. Your commitment to and support of one another has been extraordinary. The friendships you have formed will last your lifetime, and you should always remember them for the gift they are. Additionally, you have demonstrated skills and qualities, including imagination, inclusivity, and innovation that I know will make you outstanding leaders. If you miss that, let me repeat these three words, imagination, inclusivity, and innovation. With a tip of the hat to my predecessor, Nitin Noria, and his love for alliteration and all words that begin with the letter I. While I am the one standing before you today, know that Nitin is here and standing with you too, proud of what you accomplished and eager to see what you will do. Because we believe in you. Much as the classes that graduated after World War II went on to extraordinary careers, we think the class of 2021 will have an outsized impact on business. Hardship hones your passion for making a difference. It increases your confidence in being able to overcome the most difficult of challenges. It emboldens you to do things not because they are easy, but because they are difficult. It teaches the value of perseverance. To paraphrase President Theodore Roosevelt, strive to do the deed so that in the end, if you succeed, you will know the triumph of high achievement. And at the worst, if you fail while daring greatly, you know that your place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. We know your experiences have formed within you 
a strong resolve to address not just simple problems, but the more challenging ones too. As a new dean, I've had the advantage these last few months of speaking with many hundreds of individuals, students, faculty, staff, and alumni. The observations and reflections I heard offer deep insights into the context in which you will be called to lead. As you finish your time at Harvard Business School and begin new and exciting chapters in your lives, I want to share some thoughts about why imagination, inclusivity, and innovation will be the keys to contributing to the world you will encounter. Imagination is the ability to look beyond what is to what might be. It allows you to visualize the impossible as possible. It challenges you to envision a world that you never believed you would see. It inspires you to dare greatly. It will take imagination to develop business solutions to society's problems. In some ways, this is not new. Business has been an engine of prosperity in economies around the globe, lifting millions out of poverty and bringing vital services and products to people in ways that have transformed their standard of living. But the financial crisis more than a decade ago and the pandemic today have exposed troubling divides. The gap between rich and poor has accelerated. Too many individuals still lack access to education or health care, and too many live paycheck to paycheck, creating catastrophic consequences when disruption occurs. As one example, by some estimates, more than 15 million people in the US faced food insecurity as a result of COVID, many of them children. Additionally, we are witnessing seismic shifts as a result of climate change, with clean air and clean water becoming more elusive and a decline in biodiversity that will have long-term consequences. My colleague Rebecca Henderson urges us to reimagine capitalism so that it is more just and sustainable. And I heard her plea report, repeated across my many conversations. Today, the imperative is not just moral and not just social. It is an economic imperative too. Business must take the lead in devising solutions to environmental, social, and governance challenges. I am deeply inspired by examples like our new venture competition winners this year, which included a design tech startup that makes 100% zero waste clothing and a data science powered platform that will provide simplified, affordable, quality healthcare to Filipino workers. Bring the best design thinking you can to the problems you see and channel your inner John Lennon and remember the lyrics from his song, Imagine, which asserts, it's easy if you try and it isn't hard to do. The second leadership quality I want to share with you is inclusivity. Inclusivity means putting yourself in others' shoes to learn about them and what drives them, including the opportunities they see and the obstacles they face. You can't be a fully effective leader if you surround yourself with others who look and think 
just like you do. You need people who think differently from the way you do so you can benefit from multiple conflicting perspectives. Ultimately, successful managers will be those who create the conditions where individuals in their organization can be and bring their best self to their work. And successful companies will be those who understand deeply their full range of customers and their needs. Diversity of thought and experience often requires hiring a workforce that is diverse across, for example, gender, race, ethnicity, age, and religion. Managing across this diversity means, as Jan Rivkin notes, making the most of differences. But much work needs to be done to increase diversity and foster inclusion. Women have left the workforce at a higher rate than men during the pandemic and are expected to return to it more slowly. Black and Latinx populations are underrepresented in management and leadership positions. Efforts like 110, where Harvard Business School is playing a role, will strive to move individuals into family supporting jobs with meaningful advancement opportunities. But countless more efforts like this will be required. Moreover, as we've learned during the last year, prejudice and bias, beyond the abhorrent acts of violence they can lead to, remain deeply rooted in our society with long-standing effects. We stand at a time when the willingness to examine what must be done and to change is high. Here too, you can play a leading role. The third leadership quality I would urge you to embrace is innovation. You, of course, have demonstrated this dimension amply during your time at the school, pivoting and then pivoting again from online to remote to in-person. Let your new normal still retain some of this mindset. Avoid fixedness and nurture the capacity to adapt to and lead innovation. An important area of business innovation is digital transformation. Digital technologies and data analytics will transform most industries, including banking, healthcare, retail, pharmaceuticals, telecommunications, and consumer products. The pandemic has only accelerated forces that already were in play. Machine learning and artificial intelligence have the ability to fundamentally alter and improve how businesses do their work, enabling speed, scale, customization, curation, and personalization. I'll use Harvard Business School as an example. We hope your relationship with Harvard Business School will be lifelong and that you will engage with our programs the faculty, and new generations of students in ways that will support your growth and development, even as they enhance our offerings. How much more amazing would that value proposition be if you were provided with opportunities fully tailored to where you were in your life and career journey? Imagine if you could easily tap into communities of interest that might shift over time as your path shifted as well. Or if you were provided with targeted offerings, including articles or webinars, that would help you stay abreast of the leading developments in your field. We also see opportunities to expand the scope of whom we are able to reach. Learners around the globe who may never choose to pursue an MBA, for example, 
but who might benefit greatly from the content and knowledge developed at the school. Just as is the case for Harvard Business School, the opportunities for digital innovation that you will have are immense, whether startup or established, for-profit or non-profit. So use your knowledge and training to innovate and seize opportunities. If you lead with imagination, inclusivity, and innovation, I am certain you will experience a career filled with purpose and meaning, achieving things that you never thought possible, with people who did things you never imagined, in ways that you had not anticipated. And when that happens, I'm equally confident that you will look back to your time here and appreciate all the things you gained. Resilience, adaptability, and an ability to accept challenges while looking forward to the future with optimism, hope, and creativity. Members of the class of 2021, before closing, I hope you will offer up your thanks to the family and friends who have supported you during your time at Harvard Business School. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, husbands and wives, and partners and children, besties, they have been at your side and had your back through the highs and lows of your Harvard Business School experience. Too often, love is felt and not expressed. Take just a moment now to tell these individuals how much their love mattered to you and join me in a collective round of applause. I know I speak on behalf of the entire community when I say how proud we are of you and what high hopes we have for you. Congratulations and best wishes.